Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to review and play The Hunted VR, a game on the Steam Store for the HTC Vive and the Valve Index. However, I can confirm this game works perfectly okay on the Oculus Rift and Windows Mixed Reality. Now, there's a couple of issues with controller bindings on the Oculus Rift. Uh, but on the Windows Mixed Reality, it worked perfectly fine for me. This game normally retails for 6 bucks. It's currently on sale, 40% off. And funny thing is, this game, this game finally was officially released today. Out of early access, it's been in early access for several years. However, even though I've had this game installed on my computer, I didn't notice any recent updates. And I checked the Steam Store page, I didn't see any announcements about any... Uh, recent updates. It hasn't been updated since 2018. I actually got this game in a bundle and I feel like I got a great deal because this is kind of like stupid mindless action. It's a wave shooter. It's actually a room scale wave shooter so I do recommend that you have a room scale. This game will be pretty difficult if you can't dodge and move around to get behind cover because there's just so many enemies and you take so much damage if you just can't get behind cover and you need to get those moments of respite to recover you do recover while not taking damage so you'll need that at times so you, at times you do need to get behind cover uh, or even if just get behind cover just so only enemies from one angle can shoot at you that way it's just easier to get rid of that section uh, I only saw two different types of enemies, although one of the enemies did behave differently in a certain level. So I did notice the drones and then all the human soldiers. And they're pretty mindless. Uh, basically they just charge forward, go right at you, fire from all kinds of directions. And it's just basically up to you to mow them down and get behind cover when you need to. And also when you shoot enemies, they do at times uh, spawn power-ups, whether it's health pickups or whether it's more ammo. And you need to be sure that you shoot those to get more. Uh, there's a couple of different types of weapons. that You have the handguns and you'll have the assault rifle. And I, I believe you also have like a grenade that's very limited. I only got one during my playthrough. I did get stuck at one of the levels so I wasn't able to finish the game. Um, and it's one of those things where although you can change guns during the level if you've already gotten the better gun you usually don't want to do that usually if you do that you're going to die so th the main point of emphasis is to get those ammo pickups otherwise you can run out of ammo and if you have to go to your secondary gun you're pretty much going to die uh, this game is a little bit about accuracy you do need to be accurate at times but a lot of times there's just so many enemies on screen it's mostly an eye test especially in other levels not so much this one although at th this one it is kind of difficult to see some of the enemies especially when they get behind cover but some of the other levels it's just so dark it's hard to tell where the enemies are and the sound is not very good so this it does not have spatial audio so you can't really tell uh, by the sound where they're firing from although you do know they're there if they fire obviously you can hear the fire sound so this game is quite challenging it took me uh usually a couple of attempts to beat a wave before i got onto the next wave uh, but it is manageable as long as you have the room scale until i got to the last level which i did uh, record part of that at the very end of this video so you'll see where they're called snipers but really they're just the same type of enemy except they don't come all the way towards you they just kind of stay behind cover at a big distance and when they shoot you they do a ton of damage the game calls them snipers but they really look like, like the same enemy with the same gun it's just that they're they're farther away and they do a ton of damage to you it's basically the difference i enjoyed this game this score page actually is kind of funny it says the fugitive rambo and the x-files come together in this homage to classic arcade gun games from Namco, Time Crisis, and Sega, House of the Dead. So, yeah, I mean, it's a f it's fun for what it is. As long as you're able to accept what this game is going for. You know, it's just a wave shooter. It's a mindless shooter. Uh, but it does actually take skill. So even though it's mindless, it does actually take actual skill. Not just getting behind cover, but also being accurate, being quick with your guns. 
and just sometimes seeing the enemies, uh, I had a lot of trouble in the jungle level where it's dark and enemies are coming 360 around you and I had trouble just seeing the enemies. Uh, you do need to be able to use both hands. In this level I'm only using one hand, one gun. But in later, later levels you will have the access to two different assault rifles and you'll be shooting with both your left and right hands. And yeah, you're gonna have to be accurate with, with both hands. Not not so much because uh, the enemies are great or anything like that. There's, there's just so many that eventually you're gonna be stuck in a reload with your right hand. You're gonna have to be able to shoot with your left hand just to mitigate some of the damage that you're taking. Because it's very important to stay alive, even maybe that extra second longer, because you might get a health pickup. And a lot of times that will happen where you're just taking a lot of damage, you're dying. But you just kill that one extra enemy, live that couple of seconds extra longer so they get a health pickup, and then you're right back in the game. So it is that type of game. I had fun, but uh, like I said, I got this in a bundle, so I didn't spend much money on it. So I feel like I got more than my money's worth. Uh, for six bucks, I think that's an okay price for this game. Uh, keep in mind, there is no locomotion, like I mentioned, it, it's all room scale. And you're basically, once you finish the whole wave, you just basically get teleported to the next scene. And it can get a little unfair with the challenge. Especially once you see the last video, you'll see what I'm talking about. Where you just almost die instantly. And it's just so hard to see the enemies because it's so dark and they're so far away. And they just do a ton of damage to you. Overall, if I have to rate this game at the normal price, ah... Uh, I'd probably give it a 5 out of 10 at the sell price. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. I'll do a sell price rating for this game. I don't expect anybody to be playing, paying full price for a game that's been out for a while. I believe this game originally came out in 2000... Was it 17 or 18? Uh, 2000... I'm going to say it came out in 2018, although it might have come out in 2017. Uh, it just came out of early access, but like I said, I didn't see any updates for it. So comp consider this game as is right now what you're seeing. It is fun for what it is, but obviously not everyone's going to enjoy this type of game. If you're looking for a dumb arcade room scale challenge, this is it. I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm Azakalas. Rest of you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.